What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing a hat today because my hair is quite dirty. As you can see, I am not in my apartment right now. I'm actually still in Charlotte. I wanted to film a quick little chatty get ready with me of the makeup look that I have been doing while I've been here. So if you watched last week's vlog, you know we came to Charlotte to stay with my best friend and my other best friend who lives here, Bring Logan. It was his first time on a plane, first overnight. It was so much fun, we had a blast. So I just wanted to do like a chatty little catch up, get ready with me. You can see like I kind of lost my voice. Just a lot of girl chat, you know, so kind of <laughs> lost my voice, but I have been obsessed with this look. You guys are going to see it in the video. It's really simple, quick, easy, and it's like super glowy. And then there's a little hack at the beginning of the video where I share how I get this insane glow, but without this, this like, what's the word? Like greasy look, like it's glowy, but it's not like too dewy. I'm obsessed with it. So wanted to share. If you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, what's up? Welcome back. Love you guys. And let's jump right in. First thing we're gonna do is spray a little of the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Literally just everywhere. I feel like this just adds a little extra hydration. You can see kind of the sheen. I am not shy with this at all. Okay, and that just kind of like reinvigorates the skin, feels really good. Okay, so I saw this hack on TikTok and I'm obsessed with it. Sorry, I kind of, <clears throat> I don't really have my voice right now. It's okay. Bubbly BB, it might be flipped for you guys, from Nude Sticks. Do you see this? We're gonna do this almost all over the face. Pretty much. This is crazy. We are gonna get like the glowiest, prettiest skin with this hack. I know it's like outrageous looking right now, but just bear with me. I might just grab a little more of this because I want that product to be like really able to like blend because it's pretty. Like, not thick but it's just like a certain consistency so you can see that glow I know it looks crazy right now but we're just gonna like kind of blend this out with the beauty blender definitely like swiping just kind of like getting it to be evenly distributed so my base has been a little bit different in Charlotte just because I don't know this the Dior air flash I just can't stay away from it it's definitely more full coverage than I want my foundation to be so I just do that much on my sponge and then I'm actually mixing that with my Charlotte beautiful skin in the shade four this one is 3n and it's a little dark for my pale skin right now in the summer I think it'll be perfect but I just do that much and then I'm gonna like tap 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 and you can see the two shades see how it's like a little bit darker a little bit lighter so I just want to be evenly distributing that and then we're just gonna blend this out with the beauty sponge and just move it closer to you guys so you can see but like this has been the most flawless gorgeous base i'm obsessed with it i had to share it with you guys isn't it wild how the dior i'm th shade three and it's darker than the charlotte shade four just makes things more complicated when it's not uniform you know so like look at that that just made my skin look so much better. I might move you over because the light's a little better over here. I just want you guys to really see. Isn't that like so beautiful, so glowy? And it still feels like skin-like. It doesn't feel like I have heavy foundation on at all. And I don't feel like it looks that way either. So I'm basically gonna use my phone like as my mirror. We're just getting ready to go today. Next is my Beauty Pie Concealer. Honestly, don't sleep on this concealer, you guys. I use the shade 300 Beige. It is gorgeous. It just melts into the skin, and that shade is perfection on me. Most of you guys know this at this point, but my trick to keep my makeup looking fresh and foundation, what's the word? Lasting, fresh, is just an excessive amount of setting spray. So that was the Morphe setting spray, and I used the Charlotte setting spray first, I just feel like it makes blending in product. <clears throat> wow, my voice is shot. I feel like it makes blending in product so much easier. Like it just, it just melts. 
Okay, so the other thing I love about this base is that I don't feel like I have to use powder, meaning setting powder. I can go over with my powder bronzer and there's no like muddiness, there's no like stickiness, it just glides on. And this is my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade two. I'm a little dry up here, so just grabbing my sponge and trying to get that product to like kind of melt a little bit more. This is my trick basically just for any makeup application. Just keep your sponge handy. It's usually gonna fix pretty much every kind of weird area. You see how like healthy and beautiful this glow is? I really feel like it's from that first product, that nude sticks. It's just such a little trick. I love it. Do a little on my nose, eyebrows. So anyway, I wanted to chat with you guys during this video, catch you up. We had such an amazing trip, such a fun time. I like don't want to leave it all. I'm sad, but we had so much fun. Logan did so well. This is like his first trip away. He did so well. I'm gonna do Patrick Ta for the brows because I don't think I'm gonna fill them in with product today, but just activating that with my setting spray. Like I'm not gonna use a, you know, like a pencil. I'm just gonna use the gel. So we had a blast. I am excited to like, you know, sleep in my own bed, but Logan slept so well. Like we were very, well, I was very <laughs> concerned about like how he was going to sleep here. Ethan was more worried about what the flight was going to be like. If you watched the vlog, you already heard he was amazing on the flight and I'm hoping that tonight's flight, it'll be the same situation, but we'll see because it's a different time, but he slept so well here. So I was just very impressed with how he slept. He napped pretty well. I mean, there were definitely a couple days where he had to do the three nap day as opposed to the two nap day that we've been trying to get him into, but honestly, it was, it was awesome. And we, we brought, or we have a pack and play here. So that's what he slept in and he did great. We have a little mattress for the pack and play. I'll link the one we have in case you guys are wondering. We didn't travel with it, but it is very easy to travel with. And we have a little mattress and sheet for it because the mattresses that come with the pack and plays are just like this thin nothing. And we were like, I don't feel that that's comfortable for you. And he actually didn't sleep well on it the one time we tried, so. Our last palette, as always. I hope you guys enjoyed my capsule makeup capsule collection video. This was, I feel like, the star of the show in that video. And I will continue to use it, obviously, as like for my everyday makeup, but in my videos, so I can like show you guys how I use it. I like to mix those two blushes and then just kind of hit here. I go like right above my bronzer, up onto my temple, and then over a little bit on my nose. You want to think about where the sun naturally hits you so that you look sun kissed then do a little on my lids just to give that a little color so one thing that has been a little challenging while we've been here which we didn't really anticipate by the way this is the nude sticks magnetic matte eye color in hot stone he hasn't been like taking his bottles very well which has been a little stressful but we really think <laughs> i've been saying this for six months we think it's because he's teething i feel like his tooth is about to cut through. And I, like I said, I've been saying this for six months, so it's really frustrating, but he has been grabbing his mouth. Look at how crazy this looks. He has been grabbing his mouth more than ever. And we read that teething can affect their appetite. So we're just like, we feel like that has to be it. But I'm like, when is this tooth gonna cut through? It's crazy. So I actually was stuck and like couldn't decide between this product or the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal eyeliner for the capsule collection video. I'll link that for you guys if you haven't watched it yet, but they're kind of interchangeable, but I love this one because I can just blend it out with my fingers. You can see it just adds like a teeny bit of like depth and definition to that lash line. When I don't want to like do a really precise eyeliner, it, you can see it makes my eyes pop a little bit more and then I'll just pop some mascara on top. Cali Ray mascara. I'm actually running really low on this because I use it every single day. I've also been using the Lash Food Primer. I'm gonna just quickly pop that on even though I already did a couple swipes of the other stuff. This is actually meant to help your lashes grow. Like it conditions your lashes really nicely. So I've been using this and then I've also been using the Lash Food. I don't know if it's called like a, it's like a growth serum. So I just put a little serum on morning and night and I feel like I've noticed a difference. Where I've definitely noticed a difference is I have their eyebrow product and I feel like my brows are growing in here way more than they have in the past. So 
I'll keep you guys posted on that, but so far so good. And I like, I like to use this first, obviously, like I said, to grow the lashes, to like condition them, but it also, I feel like makes my mascara last longer and look better. Like no matter what mascara you're using, like it just kind of takes the product further. Look at how much thicker and longer these lashes look. It honestly blows my mind every time I put this stuff on. One thing I did forget to use in that capsule collection video in this palette is that finishing powder right there. I've showed you guys this powder before, but I love to just kind of use it as my highlight. It kind of, I don't know, it just feels like it finishes off a look very well. Like I feel like it kind of air, airbrushes the skin a little bit and then gives like a little extra glow. We definitely don't need it because that first product gave us all the glow we needed, but see what I mean? Oh, it's just so nice. And it's just unbelievable to me that I have no powder on, no setting powder, nothing. Last thing I'm gonna do is lips because I don't feel like doing a whole lip liner, all of that situation. I'm actually just gonna use my Dibs blush. It's the shade two. I'm gonna just do a little of that on my finger. And you can see this kind of just makes my lips all in shade. You can honestly just go directly on. It takes two seconds. Why don't we do a little on the face as well? Just to tie everything together. And then since I don't love the finish of this as a lip product, I mean, it is super multi-purpose and it could easily, like, that could be it. I'm super dry. So I just like to grab a little Vaseline and do that right on top. And then it just gives it, like, a little bit more of a sheen. You could also use that Laneige lip mask, again, that I put in my capsule collection. So, little Morphe continuous setting mist. And that's it. I'm just going to let that set. I'm gonna throw a hat on and then I'll be out the door. Also, if you want, after that last setting spray application, just grab your sponge and blend, blend, blend. The other thing I've been doing is my Patrick Ta cream blush, but we really don't need it today because that hourglass palette does everything. So that's it guys, look at the up close of the skin. Look at that glow. Do you hear look in the background? I look more tan, alive. Okay, we need a hat though, because the hair is dirty. This is Jillian's hat. I don't think she's gonna let me take it. Sometimes doing a hat, no hair tie, makes the hair look like bigger, longer, like more. I don't know, I kinda like that vibe. Probably looks kinda crazy from the back, but like I said, Jill's probably not gonna let me take this hat anyway, but a girl can try, you know? But that's the look, guys, that's the whole thing. This is what I've been doing like nonstop all weekend in Charlotte, it's been, quick and easy, but I feel put together. My skin is glowy, healthy, like the right color. I'm very into it. So I'm gonna link everything for you guys below. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you in Sunday's vlog.